Yo, 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 welcome back everybody to another YouTube video. Thanks for tuning in today. We're back on this project, uh, the same project that I showed you uh, with the baby ox. There's gonna be links to that video. If you haven't already seen it, go ahead and give it a watch because it's, uh, it's pretty cool, pretty cool video. Spent a lot of time editing it and I appreciate all you guys that support my channel by watching it, liking it and commenting. Um, but uh, yeah, we've done a little bit of work here on this uh, project since the last YouTube video. So let me flip you around, show you what we got going on. Here's our trench. And then a lot of this has to be fixed. So we uh, pretty much repurposed a lot of this soil um, from our trench and shoved it up against the house here. Uh, we imported a lot of this uh, angular stone. This is just three quarter inch clean aggregate. So we've kind of, as we backfilled our dirt, kind of just hand raked it out. Uh, we got a lot of the aggregate in here. And we also have a lot of select fill, which is this pad mix. Essentially, it's very heavily clay based, so it'll compact really nicely. And we got a whole bunch of rain yesterday, so it's a little wet, which is fine. I actually wanted it to be wet because we are missing one final ingredient here before we run our plate compactor over. So we will use a uh, hydrated lime uh, or type S mortar. Either way, we'll work in a pinch that just con that just further solidifies the subsoils. And then we'll just run a plate compactor over it pretty heavily until we get it where we need to. So some areas we'll have to do multiple lifts. Some areas we'll have to add and then, you know, recompact. Uh, but once we do that, then we can start decorating this nicely with some meandering pathways, boulders, river rock and some flagstone pieces. So anyways, let's go ahead and unload keep it moving. Is, it is very very wet you can tell it's hard to get a really good uh, compaction especially the closer that I get over here because obviously all the water was draining right here so but to be honest with you I'm actually really not too concerned about the dirt along the fence here it's really more or less up here against the foundation so that has to be good so there's a little high spot right there. We got to remedy that little section over here, but I'm okay with it coming to a point here because we're going to leave this downspout as is right here. And we're going to create like a little swell. So there's a little swell that goes this way and runs out towards the uh, right of way back there. So we want to keep that, you know, a little swell as best as we can. And we're actually going to put some rocks down here. Uh, so that water splashes on the rocks and then slowly, you know runs off this way because if we just leave this alone up here oh, you know it's just going to happen over a period of time it's going to wash out again so we don't want that here is like a vibratory plate compactor so this is really used for like asphalt uh you know pavers and stuff like that what's more ideal for here is a jumping jack it's like it's one of those where it literally just jumps up and down <laughs> i don't know how to really explain it because that actually drives the aggregate further into the subsoils but at the end of the day, this is still going to work just fine. And uh, it's going to be better than just a regular 10 by 10 hand tamp. Okay. And this is what I mean by hand tamp. So this is nowhere near getting the uh, centrifugal forces that that vibratory plate compactor is. However, this will still come in handy. Sometimes if you have a corner, because you're not able to with the machine, you can only pass it like this. So this, you know, always keep this on handy, you know, because it is still better than not doing anything, okay? But it's cute, all day. Seriously though, I mean, they know their stuff. Um, they're great people, they've always treated me like family. 
They go above and beyond. Plus they got great products. The place is clean. It's nice. It's not like the typical, you know, run of the mill, like straight trash kind of stone yard we go to where pallets are scattered abroad and takes you 15 minutes to get a hold of somebody. You know what I mean? Uh, now, nah, but anyways, uh, we're gonna fix some of these spots that we couldn't really get really well with a compactor and then we're gonna move on. I'll show you what comes next. But first things first. Are you subscribed? You've made it this far. I feel like, I feel like it should be. Go ahead, thank you. While I'm shoving all this dirt and this gravel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. Help the channel, you know? Appreciate that. Hi, I'm trying to record here. Oh yeah. One handed while I'm holding this. <laughs> Seriously, I mean, this is so, so easy. So easy, a monkey could do it. All right, let's keep it moving. Okay, so we at least need to get all this stuff right here. So let's fill that up, make sure we're good. But our slope is good here, and we got a little bit of dirt to get right here. So these are gonna be the last little areas that we're gonna compact for today. Honestly, there's just really no need to do anything else. All of this can get hand compacted. I'm not worried about that. So phase two of this project, which we're just gonna go ahead and start doing that now since I don't have like any material uh, to finish out the side yard here, is we are removing this tree ring, that tree ring, that flower bed, and this flower bed, all the masonry borders, and then we are going to be redoing them as well. So that is where that is going to come in handy because a lot of this stone actually has to go to the back and we don't have any access here. It's tight. And like I said in my previous video, I could probably get it, but I'm a little uncomfortable. What, how wet it is here, it is kind of turning up the turf a little bit and I just would rather not risk it. So we, this is basically what I'm gonna do. So I'm going to load up all these uh, four by four Austin white stones into the baby ox here. And then I'm gonna load the trailer up then I'm gonna back the trailer four houses down because there's access to go around and we can get in through their backyard. So honestly, it's like still kind of working harder, not smarter, but honestly, if I didn't have that, there'd just, there'd just be no way. There'd just be absolutely no way. So with that being said, let's go ahead and disassemble this tree ring right here and see how much we can stack 
on the dolly there. Okay, well, I had to clear all my memory on my phone. That's why it's <laughs> not recording what I wanted to. But uh, so we got a full dolly here. Now, how easy is it to move this dolly? Then how easy is it gonna be to get up and down that trailer? Let's find out. Backwards, one-handed, easy. This is all one-handed, people. And would you even think about putting that on a wheelbarrow? No. No, you, you wouldn't do it. That'd be ridiculous. Unless you got one heavy-duty wheelbarrow, but. Easy. Don't move. Not now, you guys. I'm talking to the camera. It won't stay still. <laughs> I mean, seriously, can it, can it be, can it be any easier? All right, a little uphill, making the climb, not too bad. Stressing a little bit, you can hear it. I'm still one-handed. job side over there uh i would recommend you know taking this off and restacking it but that's just not not how i roll you know well that i should have went further up i just didn't want to get too close to the pole there so looks like we should have hand stacked it after all Story of my life right here. All right, y'all. Do y'all want to see the drive back? You do? Okay. All right, cool. Let's go. Got a tree star. <laughs> now I know, I know there's some of you out there that be like, dude, I could just really just load the wheelbarrow, man. That's three wheelbarrow loads, though, honestly. So in the amount of energy you're exerting the, with the back and forth. Might as well just take the long road, you know, and make it easier on yourself. Listen, this is, I, this is me saying this. I get it. I get it, dude. But I'm getting older, 33. And, uh, you know, I really only got probably eight good years of uh, that, you know. So, anyways, I really do. I want to mechanize and start working smarter in my business. Um, because I want to live a long, healthy life. I don't want to be Quasimodo when I'm 45, okay. I just don't, I don't want to do it. And uh, my posture already is pretty bad. I got computer chair net, you know? Nah, nah, nah. Not anymore. No more, I say. No more. All right. I think I lied. Yeah, I know. I lied. Uh, we're going to go ahead and call it here for this video. I appreciate each and every single one of you that made it this far. I really do. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. That means a lot to me personally as I'm trying to reach 500. We have a 500 for 500 giveaway in case you didn't know that. When I get to 500 uh, subscribers, I'm giving away 500 bucks. So tell your friends, tell all your friends, okay? Till next time, and there will be a next time. See ya.